Hi guys, it's Yuritsa. Today I want to talk about die cut storage. I have a lot of different die cuts from different manufacturers and they're all different sizes, different shapes, and there's really not one system that you can use to store them all. So I just wanted to go through how I store mine and hopefully give you guys some ideas. The first thing I want to talk about is Cuddlebug. The Cuddlebug, they have dies, they have embossing folders, they have combo embossing and die folders. So, you know, different sizes. Again, I want to go through what I use. So I found these Crop and Style Pockets Organizer. These are, you know, meant to be for die, die cuts, like the actual cuts themselves. And they all have different size pockets. So these are two by 12 inch pockets. You know, and this one has a lot of different, like two by two, three by three by fours, you know, different size pockets. So I got this, and this is one of the multi packs. So you get 15 different pages in this. And I found this scrapbook at Walmart. Huge scrapbook. Zoom out. You can see. And the reason I like it, one, is a three ring binder. And two, it closes shut. So as you can see, I have a lot of cuddle bug stuff and it keeps, you know, everything kind of confined. I wish it went all the way around because sometimes they do slide out. But, you know, the little cuddle bug uh, storage purse things that they came out with is just not nearly big enough for what I have. So it opens up like this. And as you can see, uh, they'll fit here. So I have my two by two cuddle bug dies and then I have my two by three little embossing folders and then I used to store my Sissix Sislets like this I don't store them like this anymore I unfortunately threw these packagings out so I I went ahead and just kept them together so I wouldn't lose them but so here's more of those two by two and two by three dies and then here we're getting into the two by sixes so once again, another pocket perfect enough to fit these longer dies. And the same thing with this, these uh, thinner embossing folders. You, know, you can fit two to three per pocket. Alphabet. These are those two by 12 uh, pockets. And the way I have them is four dies per little compartment. So I have two back to back and then on top of each other. So I have two uh, two complete alphabets in one page. And then for these embossing folders, these pockets have four dividers. I can fit four embossing folders per divider. So you can see I have a lot of them. And then for these longer cuddle bug ones, these are really big embossing folders that don't fit in these four um, inch compartments. They have ones that are 6 by 12 and there's two on one page. These just fit in there you know, like that and then here are some of my smaller die embossing folder combos. I kind of keep them together in a pocket so I don't lose them. It's more and then here's more of that you know four compartments I can fit two of these dies together or one of the big dies and one of the big embossing folders that come together in a set. See, as you can see, they pretty much have a pocket to fit any Cuddlebug embossing folder or die that you have. And here I have those 3D flower dies from Cuddlebug. Same thing. They fit in the 2x12 ones. And here are the 2x12 embossing folders. And one, and one more of the 2 by 12 sleeves. So everything is in here. I have pretty much ran out of space. So hopefully there's something else I want. And then it's just snap shut. Now I want to talk about the Quick Cuts 2 by 2 dies. MFT paper tray ink dies. You know those smaller dies. I got this idea straight from Nicole Heady, the owner of Paper Tray Ink. She found these boxes at Walmart in the office supply section and they're meant to hold DVDs and they just open up like this. They have some pretty big compartments inside and she also gave us the idea of using these sleeves for DVDs to store the dies. So 
they fit in there you know perfectly and I like the clear outside because you can see what's inside and they actually hold a lot and this one I have all of the standardized and paper for ink so you can see how many are in there and they, they you know they, they held up pretty good um, if you didn't want to you know dig through them one thing you could do is you can write the name on the top or you can die cut the shape and glue it on the outside or you know you can add some tabs on top of the envelope and write the name of the die that's in there so that way it'll make it a little easier for you to dig through but I don't have that many so right now it's not a problem but once I start filling this up more that's probably what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and add some tabs to the top so that I can just you know flip to them really easily and then it just closes up like this and it's got a little label right there so you can put you know the, the brand but like I said I don't have that many so all of mine are just all in one one place and then for the bigger quick cut dies I buy the quick cuts magnetic storage folders and then it fits the 4x4 dies these bigger um, dies and there's another one I have and that's where I put them and some of these could probably fit in there which I'm probably going to do because um, they don't make these anymore and I've used all four of them that I have so I think I'm going to start um, putting them all in the storage box but there are some that are really big that won't fit in there like this alphabets the 4 by 8 alphabets you can put two of them on one side and this one you know will, will not fit in there and then for my lifestyle crafts that are really long I made my own book out of medium weight chipboard and my bind it all and then I use those rolls of magnets, you know, you can get at Walmart. And I just put them, you know, strips going all the way down. And then the die holds in place because these are really thin. And I was afraid that if I put them in some sort of envelope that they were going to bend. So here it keeps them nice and sturdy and secure and they don't fall out. And they keep its shape. And I did, I did the same thing for the borders. Okay. Just some medium weight chipboard and my bind it all. And then I took the strips of magnets and just ran it the length of the folder. And then that way the die just stays in place securely. And if the die has a smaller die cut, I put them together. That way I remember that they're a set and um, they don't get lost. So let's see. That's how I store my Quick Kits, MFT, Lifestyle Crafts, and um, Paper Train. Alright, Spellbinders. I bought just regular folders at Office Max. You know, you get them in different sizes. This is the one and a half. Pink, cute. And that's how I store them. I also found these CD DVD sleeves, plastic sleeves that fit perfectly in just regular eight and a half by 11, you know, sheet binders. And you can fit, you know, two CDs. And what I did was, I found these printable magnet sheets and they're in a half by 11 so I was able to cut these down to size to fit to my bigger dies but you know you can also find these magnet sheets in four by sixes for your smaller dies and they already come adhesive backed and I took some medium weight chipboard and I just cut it to fit inside of the little pocket put the magnet on there put the dies right on top they stay in place perfectly and now the dies don't bend and you know looser shape for some of the dies that don't stack well on top of each other all i did was i cover the whole shipboard sheet and then i separated them so as you can see when these layer on top of each other they don't layer flat so they they come out you need to make sure your die is flat on the magnet so they can stay in place from my Grand Mark dies, I just took a regular sheet protector, you can buy at Walmart, took a piece of sheet board, the same size, and a half by 11, and just put the magnet on there. For this one, I put uh, different uh, scraps of magnets I had laying around to complete the shape, 
But for the other ones, I just took one of those eight and a half by 11 magnet sheets and just cut them down to be able to put these on there. And I have some of these missing because I'm, I'm working on a project, but they actually go consecutively down. So this gap is not there. There's normally a dot that goes there. So my grand and my large nestabilities, I put them all together just so that I remember that it's a set so that I don't, you know, forget or lose them or whatever. So, you know, regular sheet protector and a half by 11 piece of medium weight chipboard, some magnet, and you have yourself the perfect storage for spell binders. Keep them in place, keep them from getting warped and bent and lose its shape. And, you know, it, it, it starts to add up. These sheets are not cheap, but, you know, I think they're worth it because in the end, you know, they take up very little space and you have them all together. All right, so to, on to the next one. The last one I want to talk about are, are your Educut Sizzix dies. They're really big dies, and the best way I've found to be able to store them is by one of these expedites from Ikea. This is the medium size one. They have the extra large, the medium, and then they have a smaller one that's just four cubes. So if you have a lot of space or, or not a lot of room, and you can still find these smaller or bigger depending on what you need to be able to fit your space. And they also sell those pink boxes that fit perfectly in there. So my base pro shot, I want it somewhere that I can put it on there and leave it there because it's a very heavy piece of equipment. And to be stored and taking it in and out, it was just going to be too much. So that sits right on there and it doesn't move. And then I have all the dice stored in here. So let me show you. This is my AccuCut bin and as you can see they fit in there perfectly and then I here I have my big pro you can fit about 20 dies in here so it holds a lot and but the box does get really heavy but these are not dies that I use all the time so it's not so bad and on this one I have all of the cutting pads and bossing pads and all of those for all of my different machines all go in one box and then I have all of my alphabets and my syslets are in here my big Excel you can fit two um, side by side and just a whole bunch I don't know if just a whole bunch I have, it's almost completely full but you can fit a lot of dice in these boxes and they're really sturdy they've held up pretty good my movers and shapers gets their own box and these are my originals and my big dies and they're side by side and two rows on top of each other and I counted them and you can fit about 80 dies in one of these boxes of these smaller's bigs and originals and then for the expedite, you also have the option of buying these feet. You can either have this sitting straight on the floor, you can buy the feet, or you can buy wheels. I have another one of these on wheels, and I'll show you that in another video when I do um, a walk through my room. But for this one, I have it on the feet. So I put four feet, and then I found these underbed sweater storage bags at Big Lots. And inside, I have my really long dies for my big throw shot. I can buy extended pads um, and extended tray for some dies that are, I believe are like 13 by 25, just really long dies and you know very difficult to store. So I can put them in the bag and then just slide in and out easily, keep them from getting dusty and out of the way. So I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can store some of your dies. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a message. Thank you.